breakfast. It's, uh, n n it's nearly eight o'clock, and it's uh, for, 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 for Friday. 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 Which means it won't be long be the weekend, Gavin. It's your last Friday here with us. Oh. It is. So you want, you want to say that, that thing? Go on. It's for, 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 for Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah. By dub. <laughs> uh, my name is Mark Little, if you didn't know. And my name is Gabby Rosley. This yeah, is still, a big breakfast. Still is and always will be. Uh, still to come up, what is on today, Gab? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no wonder they kicked like... me out. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is my knees are gone wobbly and I've no this idea. Gab, there's a little secret here for Gab today, so that's why I've got this little special folder that has a little um, bl blink a bit on it. Uh, Gab has no idea. She's not stripping today. She's just going with the flow. And geez, you're doing a good job today, Gab. Oh, well, yeah. I'll tell you what's coming up. One lucky viewer will have a chance to win a ski holiday in our slippery competition, Ice One Cyril. Yeah. Have you ever been the Happy Slapper? No. Well, today, would you be our Happy Slapper? I will. You I'll Happy Slapper, you. I'm Happy Slapper. <laughs> oh, they don't come much happier. <laughs> um, plus, we'll look back over the very best bits of Gabby, very best Gabby bits, you know, don't get too personal, at 8.40. Uh, plus, there will be plenty more surprises for you, guys. Yeah. There really are. And uh, today, it is a historic occasion. This is your last day on the Big Breakfast. It's a long time to do Brecky television. Um, but we thought, well, how can we possibly make this even more historic? Now, you, Gabby Rosen, have stood by on this show as celebrity upon celebrity has been asked to show us their pants. <laughs> now, it has been put to me um, that I start the chant. Oh, I'm not going to show my pants! I The chair is now up, Gab. All over Britain. Go to your windows. Throw out your tally and start the chair. Pants, 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 pants. pants. They're loud. Pants, 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 pants. Punch key, punch key, punch key, punch key. Who's done? We'd like some pants, 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 pants. Oh, yes, and you were always looking. You were always looking. Oh, yeah. Here it is. You're going to be really bored. No. You are. You haven't got me on. No, I have. And if you can guess, I always wear the same. Not the same pair. Same pair. Yes. Three and a half years. Good morning. These are the main stories on Friday, the 12th of January. The man stalking the princess is arrested and charged. Thatcher delivers the right hook to the Tories, and OJ sells America his side of the story. Police have charged the man accused of stalking Princess Anne with behaviour likely to cause a breach of the peace. Bernard Quinn's being held at a police station in Liverpool. He was arrested in the city yesterday, minutes before the princess visited a church there. He'll appear in court this morning. The government's denying that last night's controversial speech by Lady Thatcher has split the Tories even further. In it, she said Tories who argue against right-wing politics are talking baloney. She also poured scorn on John Major's One Nation conservatism. The Tories currently trail Labour by 39.5% in the polls. Police investigating the murder of London headmaster Philip Lawrence have charged a teenager in connection with the wounding of a pupil at his school. He's been bailed to appear at a North London youth court next month. A 15-year-old already stands accused of murder. Police are still questioning two men in their 20s after the murder of Alan Holmes, the police mechanic left to die in his flat in North London. He was tied to his bed on Boxing Day by burglars, 
who stole and used his credit cards. Help came ten days later, but he died in hospital. Troops are on their way to a remote region in West New Guinea, where four Britons are being held hostage by rebels demanding independence. The Cambridge biologists were kidnapped along with three other Westerners and 17 Indonesians on Monday. The pensioner, who died from a heart attack after being turned away from nine hospitals, was a fundraiser who collected thousands of pounds for the care units that rejected him. Retired policeman Jeff Cranswick was first taken to Bradford Royal Infirmary, then to eight other hospitals across Yorkshire, before a place was eventually found in Scarborough. The world's most powerful man has admitted that he's almost broke. Bill Clinton says he and his wife Hillary are nearly bankrupt. The legal cost of fighting allegations of sexual harassment and claims that she committed fraud in the Whitewater case has so far amounted to over a million pounds. The family of Ronald Goldman, one of the victims in the O.J. Simpson murder case, want a boycott of the star's new video. Simpson has reportedly been paid three million dollars for the interview, which sees him telling his side of the story. If you were innocent, why did you run? Did you kill Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman? You're the only one who knows really the truth of what No, no, there's somebody else that knows the truth. Who's that? That's the person who killed you. England have beaten South Africa in the second one day international to square the seven match series at one all. Skipper Mike Atherton led from the front with 85 but he was left to Graham Hick with a sensational half-century off 33 balls and an undefeated 72 from Graham Thorpe to seal victory by five wickets. Now the weather, another bright but breezy day with sunny spells in most areas, but the west will see most of the day's rain. Average temperatures around 9 degrees centigrade and the outlook this weekend. The west will be cloudy with occasional rain and the east mainly dry and bright. We're back at 8.20, it's back to the house. Peter, Thank you very much, Katie. do you know about all these things? I know about nothing of all this. They won't let me do this trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, I thought you'd be here to help me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave me little box just behind you. All right, I'll think of you as on my shoulder. Okay. All right. <laughs> Side of friends. We yeah, had I thought the three of them were being really nice, not coming out there shouting pants, fans, fans, and they're all in silence. They're savage. We have a look at the papers, and the, uh, the Church of England finally said that there is no hell. Well, they've obviously never oh, done, never me, done breakfast it. television, have they? <laughs> so what do they know? Uh, here it is, it's on and on and on it goes, but there it is, Richard Branson's balloon, and uh, look at that, blew it up himself. Huge, right? It's humongous. It has to be, it's gone up 30,000 feet. You can see, look, there's a, there's a little man. Mm. Oh, That's right. Richard Branson. And there was a race on there for a second, when that American guy, as we've seen, but his, his balloon came down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we talked about him yesterday. Your son, several words. Yeah, he, oh, he yeah. got rid of it yesterday on the table. Oh, did he? Oh. Yeah, it crawled away. It That's <laughs> why I said he's running off the danger. It's hibernated. Yeah, yeah. Right. he's seen with a star. Shaved his mother. Apparently has. No, I'm sure. Has he? Yeah. She thinks he didn't give her a mini, that's why. <laughs> and in the sun, there's a, there's a bit of a shocking story actually. There's a, a bloke who um, said to his mother, I think it's on page four of the, this guy, this guy here. Um, 14 million. 14 million, right? Okay, that was, that was what the, the um, lottery winners shared, right? Uh, and this bloke here had said to his mate, look, if I ever win the lottery, I'm going to give you a million quid. Um, oh, here they are here. And he said, he. <laughs> Okay, they were looking for that winner. This bloke said to his mate, yeah, all right, I've won the lottery. His mate raced out. Uh, he started to blow all his money. He, he spent all his money. He's 2,500 quid's worth of savings on champagne. Uh, he's, been, he, he's been looking at a red Porsche. He, uh, he's blown all his money. He's been looking at a yacht and a home. And he basically got himself in all this debt. Um, 250,000 or that, the yacht and... Portion order? Um, <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have cheap, Frank. No, no, no. Um, 250 for the Porsche and the boat is pretty. Um, pretty small boat, yeah. Think? It must be a small boat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 small Porsche as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor bloke has rushed out just because he believed he's, he's silly mate. Oh, and he hasn't got the money. He didn't win it. No, he was, right. just, he was just pulling his leg. Oh, so, what's he going to do now? I don't know. Um, it might be. It'll be in tomorrow's papers. This bloke is found somewhere. Oh, Get over the head. Oh, he's going to ring us up. <laughs> oh, it's the Gabby hotline. That'll be the phone. That'll be the phone. That'll be the phone then. Sorry. Hey, Gabby. Ah, uh, Gab. That'll be the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of telly. No, it's mobile. It's mobile. It is. It's 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 pointing just the right way. Hello. <laughs> Oh, get off! Oh, no, that's funny. Who's that? <laughs> I told you not 
to ring me away after nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry about that, David. <laughs> Stoker. That's not funny. Is that your own personal story? You know this stalker who's been at uh, Princess Dan? I seriously worry for that man's sanity. Yeah. Hello. Hello, this is Terry Wogan. I just thought you might like a, a little bit of class oh. added to the program. Oh, I just Terry. wanted to wish Gabby well. Terry Wogan. Terry? It wasn't Terry. Wake up, Terry Wogan. Oh, he's live on the wireless. On the radio, I mean, I'm showing me. Terry? Terry? Oh, wait, wait, what's he doing? Are you really here now playing the music? He's live on the radio. He's live on the radio. Well, you lied. Well, he's, he's, he's very, I didn't know he was a musician. He's very clever. He's got the Terry Wogan's big bear. Come on, Terry, you stop it. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Thanks Terry. Terry. He rang up. He, he was very exhausted when he rang up, wasn't he? He seemed out of breath, didn't he? <laughs> that was Terry. Terry. That was Terry. Terry. Well, I thought that he had to do it again. Oh, no, 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 Gabby. Oh, no, 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 man. Oh, they just said to me in my ear, he's live on air, so he can't But was the, who was doing the heavy breathing? That was Terry, wasn't it? That's that Terry. was Terry's idea of humour. Yeah. Terry Wogan, you cheeky monkey. Very cheeky funny. Mink, we cheeky. should have plugged him in. Oh, well, we? thank you very much, Terry. <laughs> that was very funny, Terry. No, he's lovely. He's not. He is an absolute lovely. Well, that wasn't a very lovely thing to do. He's funny. Did he do? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's lovely. Thank you very much, Terry, thank for you, that. Thank you, Teddy. Yeah, go on, you're Terry. Cheeky Irish thing, you guys. I tell you what, still watching out there? You can win yourselves a holiday to the Balkans. Sure. And Gab's going to be our happy son. I'm the slapper today. Ice one, Gabby. Ice one, zero. Ice one, touch. Ice one, zero. Let's have another one. Ice one, zero. Ice one, touch. Ice one, zero. Let's have another one. Here I am. Here I come. Here I am. Here I come. <laughs> so, this is our winner one, this is our competition, Ice One Cyril. It's actually starting to get a bit mild, so I think we'll be start. Are we going to start thinking about a new competition? Yeah. Do you think it's time we did a new competition? I think so, but let's, uh, let's go and do this one as it stands. G'day, Cyril. How you going, mate? What's your name? Keith. G'day, Keith. And what do you, who do you roll away for? Uh, rollers up in Milton Keynes. Uh, with rollers, eh? Yep. Okay, do you roll a hockey play? Sometimes, not, a, not all the time, but occasionally. Rookie dokey, there you go. So you know how this game works? Yes, I You'll be whacking it. stuff. You'll be whacking pucks into the back of that net. Ooh. There, and that's the ice one still moved by Carla and Martin, the kids of the family of the week. Uh, and it moves a heck of a rate. Look at it. There it goes. But they're not really pucks. <laughs> they're not really pucks. That's the thing. And I'm going to call you Cyril from now on, if you don't mind. Okay. That's they're going to be anything from a... Um, oh, <laughs> uh, who knows what they're going to be. Jade knows, but Jane doesn't tell. She keeps it a uh, very secret, don't you, Jade? The thing is... The more of the items that Jade has in her stockings that you whack into the back of that net, the more prizes our viewer will win. If you, in fact, get one, if you hit one of them in, uh, the person will win four cinema tickets. Oh. Very cool. Cool, <laughs> almost cool. Uh, if you get two in, you, they'll win the cinema tickets and a family hamper worth 200 quid. If, if he gets three in, uh, you get the uh, cinema tickets, you get the family hamper and an artificial ski weekend wow. worth 300 quid. Or then you can take the Golden Park Challenge, forfeit all those and go for that Balkan holiday yeah. worth 1,000 quid. How do you do that? Well, you answer this question to qualify to play the game. Who takes over from Gabby as presenter on the Big Breakfast from next week? That's Monday. Who's going to be Gabby Russell's replacement on Monday into the new millennium? Um, if you know that, please ring now. 0891 44 Call to cost no more than 25p. And we'll be back to play that game as soon as we have enough callers on the line. Um, that's about it. Feeling confident, Cyril? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I am. And today, Gabby Rotten is our happy slapper, and they don't come much happier. It's her last day today. <laughs> You've been dying to say that, haven't you, Andy? Okie dokie, we're gonna ask, oh, what are, are we going to find out what Richard's doing? Hey, Richard, where are you? Cheers, uh, thanks very much, Mark. Yeah, I'm watching in the box, it's great. This is a magic Danny doorstep for me because I haven't had to move out of my hotel room. I'm in Northampton, I'm in a hotel room. The reason why is because the person we're about to hit is in that hotel room there. Fantastic. And uh, as for the uh, question in Ice One Cyril, I might be giving you a couple of clues here. Yes, basically, Zoe Ball is the answer. Zoe Ball, she's going to be starting the big breakfast next week because it is a sad and sorry occasion that Gabby's leaving. <laughs> oh, oh. Compose, compose yourself, compose yourself. But the bad news is, of course, that Gabby's leaving. The good news is, Zoe's starting the show. She's next door. Now, what have I done with the key? Yeah, it's here. It's fantastic. I managed to get the key from, uh, from reception a little bit earlier. She's
she's in this one here, she's doing panting on the moment, which is the reason why she's in Northampton. She's in this one here, so uh, here we go. This is it. This is the moment where we surprise uh, Zoe, because this is actually, officially, her last lie-in before she has to start doing the show next week. Here we go. Room service! Zoe! Zoe! Switch some lights off. <coughs> Zoe! Miss Ball? How are you? You're live on the big breakfast. It's Rich here. How are you? <laughs> Oh, yes, you had to expect it. It had to happen, didn't it? If you're going to do the big breakfast, you have to sort of like, you know, come to terms with things like this. So how are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a little bit harsh. Okay, stand back a little bit there, Johnny. Can I, can I hop into bed with you, Zoe? Oh, please. Well, well, yes. Well, well, how many lads would like to be in this position right now? So here we are, me and Zoe Ball in bed at the moment. So, uh, Zoe, your last ever lying. How's it, how's it going? It's going really well. Yeah, I'm really sorry about I'm disturbing it for you. It's a really good dream, actually. What about? I can't trust you. Oh, please. Who does it involve? Who's in it? Oh, I me? Know. It's no, me, it's isn't it? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. All right, okay. Right, look. Well, the point is, is we want to actually capture this historic moment today. This is the last time that you get a lion before in a, during a weekday before next week. So, uh, have we got the, uh, yeah, have we got the board here. We want you to hold this, Zoe. Yeah? Oh. This sign saying it's a weekday. And uh, this this alarm clock, okay, yeah. Okay. And we've got Shed here. Let's look at Shed. He's got the Polaroid day. He's gonna he's gonna capture this moment forever. There it is. Fantastic. Can I have the uh, partner? Can we start like developing that? So what are you gonna bring to the show then, Zoe? Is this live. This is live. Yes. Oh, what what are you gonna bring to the show? What, apart from, from blonde hair. Apart from some more blonde hair. More blonde hair, yeah. Some bad roots. <laughs> um, and uh, bad breath as well. Is there, is there no, no, sir. It's sort of, yeah, it's a sort oh, of rotten cabbage smell there, but I won't go into that because we don't want to go into details right now. What's the other thing we do? Oh, yeah, we've got breakfast for you as well. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bless you. No. Bless you. Let's have the breakfast in for Zoe. Zoe, the last chance you get a chance. You'll be able to relax and have a bit of breakfast. This is going to go everywhere, isn't it? Oh. That's all right. That's a big breakfast for you, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, that's that's all. We'll tuck into that. We'll okay. have a bit of a chat and stuff. Come back to us later. It's back to the house. Oh, poor Zoe. Whoa. One lion. But tell her, tell her that's fine. The bad roots and bad breath are, the, are a good idea. Yeah. No, you want to keep, oh, they won't, can't hear won't be any change for me. Oh, they can't hear us. Can <laughs> they? No. Dude, but you're getting stuck into that big cholesterol sandwich there. <laughs> oh, she's such a lovely. Zoe, Zoe Ball. Lovely, lovely Ten past girl. eight. Come on, Zoe. It's a bit late, mate. You're gonna. <laughs> Half past three, Zoe. Half past three. Half past three. Pre-dawn. Um, well, there it was. Um, coming up on the big breakfast today. Um, all this. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, you know, sorry, mate. Wondering, Gabby, I've got something Whoa. for you here, which, uh, if you care to open them carefully, there's a lovely present Do inside you know waiting for you. What? I couldn't come to you. You are. Are you? Are you? I think you are. I think, you? I think I am. <laughs> 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 Well, exactly. I'm here. I'm, well, I'm here now. I'll be at the party. party. And, but look, you've got to open this present. This is a very. I was saying, I missed your It's an important present. Blue. I've got to go. Open the present and enjoy. Good on you, Glenn. Oh, okay, careful. Just keep, keep on the table again. I didn't know. I was talking about it this morning. Yeah. Oh. She is opening it. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, that, oh Turn okay. me on. Turn me on. What is it? Oh. I've turned it. Oh. oh. Take your eye out with that. Where do I turn it on? Turn me on. Uh, here, the power section. We put this on. Turn that there. Yeah. Does it work? Is it working? Don't think so. Mm -hmm. What's well, meant to be happening, right everybody? Here right now. There we are. And uh, I believe I've got a very special message for someone because I don't know, normally do dedications, but I like to do dedications down again. It's good out in pools to see the animals. This is actually for a girl I used to see. Uh, I was from <laughs> the <laughs> Uh, now, we used to see each other oh, at least five times a week, and uh, then we had to cut it down to three times a week because she thought it was going to be a bit too much, and so did the people who were in jail. Well, uh, basically, the uh, surrogate <laughs> father thought it was too much. Little guy called Wahid. And, uh, <laughs> so, okay, so, uh, in fact, we, we dated for over, what, two years, and uh, neither of us were ever late. She always looked great, so did I, quite incredibly. <laughs> <laughs> something to talk about. It was, it was almost as if we had a script. Uh, since then, I understand that I have to say that uh, she, she's seen lots of men since then, apparently, from <laughs> pop stars. Even a drag queen, I understand. I'm very, very worried about it, but never mind. Uh, well, her friends know her as uh, Gabby, and uh, I believe that also today she's leaving work. So, Gabby, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, uh, th this next record is especially for you, and I believe that the reason she's leaving, and nobody knows this yet, is that uh, 
Very soon there's a little Roslyn on the way. <laughs> No, I'm not having a baby, thank you. Oh. Uh, and there it is. Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. That's all right. Any time, Gab. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> ah, moment is forward. We're going to ask a question now. Uh, which famous mid-air operation is this a reconstruction of? Not this. <laughs> this. Don't phone, just for fun. Scissors weren't made for this. Here we are. At one end. And if we can, yeah, if you can just straighten up. Okay. And then what I need to do is to size it again. I think in retrospect, I was probably. That's lovely. Which one? best and I like to get the best too. That's why I choose Ready Wheat Bite Size. There's no added salt and no added sugar. It's just 100% whole wheat. Start today the best possible way and you'll be ready for anything, even one of these. Nestle is Ready Wheat and Bite Size too. And now new fruitful, lightly sweetened, with an abundance of delicious fruits and crunchy whole wheat. New shredded wheat fruitful. It's new, it's fruitful. This is Simba, star of Disney's wonderful movie, The Lion King. And this is a new weekly publication about Simba and his friends. It tells you all about the wildlife of Africa and all the other natural wonders of the world. It's also full of fun and games, with things to do, things to puzzle over, and things to make. Like this hyena mask. You get these stickers and this scene from Simba's world, free with part one of Disney's The Lion King. Chocolate drink has all the taste of Cadbury's and only 40 calories. Skies above me, never wear as blue as her eyes. And if she loves me, who could want a sweet? High in Cadbury's taste, light in calories. Every day should have its highlights. And there, now you get rid of that. And she didn't know me at all. Well, thank once. Thank you, yes, no. So it's lovely. Uh, well, he was a doctor, whether he was competent or not. Don't look. Have we got uh, any time? You just have a glass of water. And welcome back to the Big People's Yay! Breakfast. And we ask you a question, which famous media operation was that a construction of, reconstruction of? Uh, and there, that was the one in which the doctor repaired a woman's punctured lung by using coat hangers and bottles of water. You can see more of that in the Operation Coat Hanger. Uh, 999, that's uh, Operation 999 Special, which is on BBC One tonight at 9.30pm. And here's Gabby receiving gifts. I can't believe it. Are you making me feel like I'm worthy? I don't deserve They're the best viewers. Not only is this the best team, but it's the best viewers. We have got the best viewers. And we know we get things out here all the time hanging over the fence. Really cute. Oh, 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 that's really, really nice. Still to come this morning. Uh, one or two more supplies. Thank you. 
for Gabby Rosman. Uh, but now with the time at 8.19. Oh, it's been a real long time, Gabby. I think just for old time's sake, we're going to go, we're going to wait and go to the news at actually 8.20. It's 8.19. We haven't done this for a long time, Gabby. <laughs> oh, it's another 40 seconds, Gabby. We're just going to stand here for 40 seconds. We've done it before. Yeah. Oh, we better go for it because they're panicking upstairs. <laughs> Big back news and weather. Gone. The man accused of stalking Princess Anne has been charged with conduct likely to cause a breach of the peace. Bernard Quinn is being held at the police station in Liverpool. He was arrested there yesterday near a church she was visiting. He'll appear in court this morning. The Princess of Wales has gone into another political row over the homeless. Tories are furious over a leaked letter in which she agrees with the Labour MP's attack on the government's record for help for young people who leave care. Psychic Yuri Geller has thrown down a stirring challenge to internet users. The Prince of the Paranormal is offering $1 million to anyone who finds a spoon locked in a safe while watching a computer image of it on the net. Inter Milan looks set to make an audacious move for Blackburn's Alan Shearer. The England International tops the Italian giant's shopping list as they continue their search for a striker to replace Dutchman Dennis Bergkamp. Now the weather, most of England and Scotland will be bright and breezy. The West will see most of today's rain. Average temperatures around 9 degrees centigrade. We're back at 8.40, back to the house. Peter, they're spoiling, they're rotten. Oh. I got that off the posters outside. Yeah, she aren't did. They nice? they aren't oh, they nice? Oh, Who'd like chocolate? You? Oh, go on, please. Yeah. Love a chocolate, please. Go on, and then I'll open up the cards later. Here we can all have a chocolate. <laughs> there we are. Katie, could you do the chocolates for us? I don't yeah. know what's going on, but I'm just sort of doing a little bit of takeover now. Well, all day, Gabby, you have not had a script, have you? No. no, oh, no, no. Hey, oh, there they are. The Gab phone, the Gab, the Gab oh, hotline. Oh, Gab, please. I don't trust this now. No, I know. Yeah, it was a Jerry Wagon, well, was that all? And the kids was live, wasn't he? Was he? Yeah. Go on, go on. Hello? Hello, Gabby. Hello? It's Letitia here. Letitia Dean. Letitia? What are you doing? <laughs> I am wrecked. Are you alright? <laughs> I'm lying in my very large hotel bed, phoning to say good luck with everything. I think you're fabulous. Oh, Letitia. I know how you feel. It's a very Jillian. sad day. Jillian, it's Letitia. Hi, Jenny. Oh. I sound like you this morning, Jill. <laughs> oh, thank you for calling. My pleasure. I'd love to have been there, Gabby, but unfortunately I can't make it. Oh. So I've got up very early just to talk How's the, Is the panto going well? Yeah, great, thanks. Oh, I'll, I'll, I can come and see it now. <laughs> you can, until the 28th. Oh, I'll, I'll come and see I'll come and see you next week. All right, darling. <laughs> see you. Good luck, doll. Oh, thank Bye, you. Bye, Gabby. Oh, my oh, God. Her voice, she sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Say your brain, I'll be able to go out late at night oh, and then go to the picture. I can come and see your show. No, we finish on Saturday. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that was a good idea, Wally. Well, well, I was off the Sunset Boulevard, you know, but Petula Clark's doing it instead. Well, she needs to work, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Desmond. I'm too young to play Norman Desmond. Well, I'm doing Maria von Trapp on tour. Are you? I thought you were going to do... What's the other one you are going to do? Annie. Yeah. I'm not playing Annie. Imagine me as Annie. 14-year-old orphan, please. <laughs> Uh, no, I wouldn't mind playing Miss Hannigan, because then you get to belt the 14-year-old orphan with a battle. <laughs> yeah, you stand on dogs and things. Oh, Talk to the dogs, he's not in today. Where is Buster? It's not here, he's opening the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. He's got there behind a bunch of flowers. Uh, I'm sorry, but they're yours, aren't they? Where are the chocolates, Katie? Where are the chocolates? Hold it up, Katie. I think we're going to do for the next way. Where are these chocolates? We've got all the old crew who used to work on the big breakfast here. The old crew. They've all dug into... There we are, <laughs> chocolates. There we go. Oh, Gabby. Oh, yum, yes. I hope this isn't that orange thing I hate. Oh. Old. Older than you. Let's go what, up there. What's it, I got? Richard Orford's out and about with <laughs> the orange. orange thing I hate. Oh. <laughs> Richard's out there. Where are you, Richard and Zoe? Thank you very much, Mark. I'm in Northampton. I'm in bed with Zoe Ball. New girl. New girl alert. She's here. She's got... Oh, she's got the dark glasses on already. This is so cruel. I had one more day of lying in. I've got, I've got the impression, this. Zoe, you're not going to be that morning person we all <laughs> hoped for, are you? You're just not there in the mornings, are you? No, not I am, honestly. I do these Let's glasses look. are really helping. Oh, oh, no, no, put them back, put them back. So we've got you a breakfast for you. And this, look, this is the photo as well. That, uh, this is the historic photo, the last ever time we'll see Zoe Ball on a weekday having a lie in. There we are. It says it's a weekday. It's going to be a lie in. It's not the last day. I'm not, not forgetting to get up or something. Stop. The bosses are watching. Right. Bad start. Bad start, sister. Okay. And uh, well, look, I've got this here for you as well. It's the uh, Big Breakfast oh, no. Survival <laughs> Kit, Zoe. All right. Uh, let's, let's delve into this little. Uh, Little box of goodies, that's what we've got for you. Okay, first up we have a, a coffee bean sandwich to keep you awake those mornings, yeah? Mm. 
Uh, we have um, some um, facial treatment there for you to remove away that. those wrinkles. Yeah, perhaps you should put some on now. I don't know. Without makeup, this is very brave. It's, that's very attractive, Jump though. Uh, we've got pa some paracetamol for you as well <laughs> for those uh, tense, nervous headaches on those occasional mornings. Oh, and um, now. Matches to prop up your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got an alarm clock for you, uh, absolutely compulsory, standard issue stuff for Big Breakfast presenters, oh, that. Oh, that's great. I'm not sh quite sure exactly. Oh, no, actually, you're going to put these on your eyes. Slice these and put these on your eyes to wake you up. Jeez. And uh, finally, we've got an envelope here full, show. full of, uh, sh full of um, all the soap plots of East Enders and Coronation Street for the next six months, because you're actually going to miss them now, because you've got to be in bed by 8 o'clock. Sorry about that. No, I can watch Coronation Street, can't I? Oh, you can Please. just catch Coronation Street, then go to sleep. Right, that's the best okay. plan. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, I can sell those. Fantastic. Okay, so we're Zoe Ball with me, and I believe Gabby's in the house. Gabby, have you got any advice for Zoe? Yeah, absolutely. The most important thing is to have a cement mixer outside your house in six months, because you need cement, honestly, to keep your eyes open and to keep the face together somehow. I've been saying this having seen me at this hour in the morning, Gabby. No, look, can I actually, for real, 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 a, a real moment on TV, Zoe, I wish you the very best of luck. You're going to be fantastic, and look after everybody here, because they're brilliant, and they're really looking forward to you starting. And I'm delighted it's you because you're the only person on earth I would want to sit in this seat. Thank you very much. Good luck, Aww. Gabby. And thanks for making it really easy for me to take over. You, you may go. Next week, hey, 3.30. Zo. Zo. Best of luck, Gabby. Yeah, See you soon. Yeah, go on, you're Yeah, bye, yeah. Hey, Zoe. You can't hear you, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thanks for a champion, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, bye, boy. I'll see you, I'll be here too, Zoe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy, yes, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am I'll let you know that old fish has to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> have you had this poem of so this fella who's been there? Yeah. Well, God, There's so much coming. Let loose and send flowers in. And, Gab, I want to give you a present. I've organised something. Just stay there. I'll, I'll just go and get it. It's, it's in here. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Baby it's here, Gab. I've had this made up. And this is real. This is actually from me to you, Gab. I bought you one as well, but I ate mine on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving, Gabby, oh, but I'll buy you one now, it's all right, uh, It's a record. It's a little bit delicate on top. This really? Oh, it's Italian. This is really for you. I've heard this sort of commission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word! Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> I've been oh, 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 Well, you're the people that make up these. Is this really, really for me? Yeah, I'm, I had it made up for you. There's a, there's a little inscription on the side there. It says stolen from Argos. <laughs> <laughs> because I kept next while he rubbed up his, up his jumper. I said, what now? I got an exercise bike. <laughs> Oh my love, yeah, it's been so great working with you. Really has. Hasn't been the, uh, Hasn't really been It the... says, goodbye, virtual mate. May we be... May we be actual mates always. Oh. <laughs> cool, Gab. <laughs> Every time you look at anything... It's a nice tally, isn't it? Hey. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's mine. You can't have that. No, I've got loads of tallies. Thank you. I've got... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Really cool, best of luck with you all. And thanks so much. You made it... Got that me, you know. <laughs> Nummy we move. I want to be a slap, but just get let's go. Let's go and give away our prize. Yeah. The great thing about this show. I've won Cyril. I've won Cyril. I've won that. I've won Cyril. No matter what sort of cough or cold she has, I'm always concerned. So I choose a pediatric medicine I can rely on. Tixie Licks. It's specially made for children. And it tastes good. Which makes it easier for her to take. And there's a different Tixie Licks for dry, tickly, or even chesty coughs. I know I can ask my pharmacist which one is right for her. Tixie Licks pediatric medicines, specially made for children. If trying something different is your New Year's resolution, then Somebody's Delicious Range includes new Honey Hug Chicken for only $2.99. Iceland, we're full of surprises. If you want to know how virtual reality puts you in the pilot seat, it's time you got the knowledge. Tree of Knowledge, part one out now, only 50 feet. Now it's 50% thicker. Nothing beats the power of Power Zone. It's murder on germs in the Power Zone. Alanis Morissette, 
was the brightest new star of 1995. Now nominated for six Grammys and two Brit Awards. Her debut album is Jagged Little Pill. Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. Out. Gab, look at this. Wow. This is from the, the boys at Let Loose. You said that, that was amazing. Yep, um, Ricky, Rob, Lee. Oh, thank you Let very Loose. much. And their record company. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Excellent. Oh, what a happy much. slapper you <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> You've been wanting to say that two and a half years, haven't you? <laughs> and I've said it. Yes, Gab's going to be our happy slapper. Thanks and this boys. is our game. Ice one sure we can win that trip to the, to the Balkans. Thanks. And you do all, you can win all these other things. All we did was you asked a question, who's going to be taking over from Gab next week on Monday? And the answer, of course, is... Zoe! Zoe Ball! Zoe, uh, Zoe Ball. And these are people, Gab, who've actually got it right. Louise, Paul, uh, Gillian, Paul, Sarah, Graham, Karen, Edwina and Kevin. So your job as the Happy Slapper Gap is to pick a puck, corresponding number, get to play the game. Number eight. Number eight, Edwina from Suffolk. Edwina? Hello. Hi, Edwina. Hello. Oh, hi, congratulations. You're going to play our game. All right, thank you. Hi, Edwina. Hello, Gabby. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Jolly good. <laughs> That's good. You having a good 96, Edwina? Yes, so far. Oh, good. Well, this could, it could get better. It's going to get better. <laughs> it's going to get better. If I play this game, it's going to get better for you, I right. promise. Right, do your best. Gab, I will. She will. It's the last day, too, and she's been cheating and everything today, <laughs> I have to say. Come with us onto the plastic. I will see you in a moment, Gab. Yeah, okay. Okay, Cyril, how, how's it going, mate? Okay, great. That's the way. All right, Ice Maiden. Please now show us what in fact will be whacking the back of the net. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Some pink sunnies. Oh, it's, these are a little bit Gabby-esque, these. Some pink sunnies. Um, what is that? Oh, it's hair. Does oh, my hair God. really look like that? Uh, there's some hair. Do you want that, Gab? Yeah. Take it away. Ooh. Uh, some hair on the knot, some tissues. Um, you've done pretty well, though, Gab. You can hold it together marvellously. So there's some tissues, a red rose. That's beautiful. And what else? We got? And a boxing glove. What's that got to do with Gabby Rothen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. You got the idea, Cyril? Yeah. It's one whacking in, my man. The more you get in, the more prize they win at home. Right. Okie dokie? Yep. In your own time. Cyril. Oh, yes! So you've won the cinema ticket, Edwina! In goes the hair. You won the cinema ticket and the, uh, the, and the hamper. Oh, bad luck, Cyril. Bad luck, mate. So it's cinema tickets hamper. Here's a rose. This will take a fair whack. This won't be easy. It's light. It's not... Oh! Oh, right in the, in the snowman's private area. <laughs> in the snowballs. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck indeed, Cyril. So, Edwina, you've seen what you've got. You've got the, in fact, um, the cinema tickets and the family hamper worth 200 quid. Roll out that red carpet. Bring out the red woman. Gabby Rosen is our happy slapper today. Is it slippy on here? It's not too bad, Gab. It's more slippery on the mat. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. You left or right handed, Gab? I'm right handed. Right handed. Good work, thank you, Cyril. Uh, now, this is a game where you're normally blindfolded. Is you right handed? Which way round do I go? Are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Okay. Oh, so Edwina, this is very good. Gabby doesn't even know. <laughs> See, there's a right handed, if you, so it means you whack that way. But look, it's curved that I way. I know, we need the other stick. Oh. That's a left handed bat. Ah. Oh. A hockey racket, and this is the right handed hockey bat. Okay. Okie dokie, blindfold. No, I think I can do it without a blindfold. I think you can. Whatever you say, Gab. Whatever you say, mate. Thank you, Jay. Okie dokie, Edwina. This is the Golden Puck Challenge, where you can forfeit both uh, the um, cinema tickets and the um, family hamper worth 200 quid and play for this Balkan holiday worth 1,000 quid. All you have to do, I'll put this here. You say shoot. Gabby whacks it in, and you get the prize. Yes. What would you like to do? Take the gamble? <laughs> Take the gamble! Yeah. Taking the gamble. Yeah.
She's taking the gamble. So in your own time, Edwina, uh, Gabby, would you better to shoot you at this so we can hear you? Just like, Oh, sorry, and again? Shoot! Did you hear that, Gab? Yeah. Okie dokie. And I'm going to shut my eyes. You've got to shut well, your eyes. a different approach than most other people you'll see when I go. Very it. unique, yes. I know. The uh, ice hockey people have been watching you, Gab. Okie dokie. Shoot! Give us a high five. High five on that one. Nothing gets it in. Up there. Sideways. Round the belt. Oh, too cool. Edwina. Give her on the holiday. Thank you. One Thank week. You, that was magnificent, Gab. Why anyone else hadn't sucked that, I don't know. Congratulations, Edwina. Have a lovely time. Thank you, Gabby. Hope <laughs> that won't be the same without you. Your eyes shut. My eyes were shut. Oh, lovely. Thanks a lot. Okay, okay. How do you do an impression of Scooby-Doo? No, no, sorry. How do you do an impression of Scooby-Doo? That's the question. Don't find it. Just for fun. <laughs> By popular demand, Gabby Roslin's impression of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, but you two have got to do it afterwards, because now this is a lesson. There are two impressions. <laughs>